Hi, I've known Josh for about eight years. I met him when I first came into this real estate industry, and uh, he brought a client down to buy an apartment. I had the exclusive down on uh, Ridge Street, and I liked him right away because of his frankness and his uh, no bullshit about just talking right to the point. Uh, after that, I saw him three other times, unfortunately. Uh, we didn't make the sale, but we kept in touch and grew into a pretty solid relationship, although I'm older than his grandfather right now. Uh, I find them to be engaging, very, very honorable, and honorability is his best uh, product that he's selling. If he's selling, uh, he's always been there when I needed him, being advanced in the computer and IT world. Uh, I always would ask him for help, and without it, no, no BS, he was always there for me. I needed to see him on a Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, bang, he was there. So that sort of built our relationship up, and uh, I would highly recommend him in any, and I mean any situation that you may need with him, because if he doesn't like you, basically you guys won't know each other too long, but once he likes you, he's there for you, regardless of what it is. As a matter of fact, I asked him to give me an apartment the other day, and he told me to get lost. But anyway, Josh is a good kid and learning and very knowledgeable of the industry. I think his family is in the industry, so he knows all the finer points of what's required to be a good broker or selling buildings. And he's tried to sell me the Empire State Building, but I already bought the Brooklyn Bridge, so I really didn't have any more money to uh, give to Josh. But anyway, I would, if you want my number, I can give it to you. I'd always be there for the kid, because he is a kid, but vastly gaining on the competition. Adios, people.